Welcome to our third clip on Joinder. In this clip, we'll cover required Joinder of parties under Rule 19, which generally addresses situations where parties who were not previously made part of a lawsuit must be joined, even against their will, if the case is to proceed properly. First, we'll talk about the structure of Rule 19, then we'll talk about necessary parties who must be joined to the case if Joinder is feasible. We'll finish up by discussing what happens when it is infeasible to join a necessary party, which will hinge largely on whether the party is not only necessary, but also indispensable. Though necessary and indispensable are synonyms in common usage, for purposes of Rule 19, they have very different but related meanings. Let's cover the basic structure of Rule 19. Rule 19a covers the three basic situations in which parties will be deemed necessary. Again, a necessary party must be joined if joinder is feasible. Rule 19b only applies when a necessary party cannot be joined to the case because joinder is infeasible. And it sets forth the factors that the court must consider in determining whether a necessary party is indispensable. If a necessary party who cannot be joined is indispensable, then the case must be dismissed. We should note that Rule 19 itself does not use the terms necessary party or indispensable party but the cases and the treatises do, so we'll use those terms here. Therefore, we see that there is a structure to Rule 19, which has three basic points. For point one, we ask whether a party is necessary. If yes, then we continue to point two. If no, then the party's joinder is not required under Rule 19, and we must look to Rule 20 to see whether the party may be joined permissively, or perhaps whether the party may intervene under Rule 24 or whether the party might be impleted under Rule 14. Point 2 asks whether joinder of that party to the case is feasible. If the answer is yes, then the party must be joined. If no, then we'll have to continue to point 3. Point 3 asks whether the party is not only necessary, but also indispensable. If the answer is yes, then the case must be dismissed. If the answer is no, then the case may continue albeit perhaps only after the judge has taken certain measures to protect the interests of all parties involved.